for the future. Here, now, to share some deals which are new to both of us. Oh boy. Feels empty, and it is. Found the uh, Smart Alice one and Magic Crayons. It is at Pride Rock. So, I think I'm gonna get this off. Oh, Showtime Soccer. You're my favorite. <laughs> I'm jealous of uh, a lot of these gamers out there who can remember just everything about their childhood. I have bits and pieces, and, and Pico is one of them. These things I remember popping up in like the, around the 32X days, and they were just obviously not for me, but it's it, Pico's, mm -hmm. of course, Sega's edutainment system, storybooks, learning games, etc. And nonetheless, I just I remember seeing stuff like this. There was also like a there was a Tales music game I remember seeing. I I can't even remember stuff that happened later. Um, you know, 97, 98, just being in Funkland and seeing games on the wall. I had very brief glimpses. I'm I'm so jealous of people who have those memories. Anyways, these were pretty much all over the store, these Pico games. The thing about the thrift stores is, you, anything that's in a box, a few days from now, it's gonna be scattered about all over the store. Because these were labeled um, months ago, I don't know. Nonetheless, it was half off, so these, I don't know, I didn't, I know I didn't pay 350 for these, but, um, but that would be half. So, I got Lion King, Adventures at Pride Rock, some Magic Crayons, Sonic Game World, which is probably the most gamiest of all of them. Some actual games, but maybe there's some Math Blaster or Reading Rabbit there in disguise, I don't know. Gotta zoom out, focus. Smart Alex and Smart Alice, Curious Kids. I mean, they're probably entertaining games if you were a kid, but nonetheless, not for me. I do have a Game Boy Advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring it out here for you. Okay. This is some of it. I have the yeah. original. I have two Xboxes here. Even GameCube stuff. Yep. I have GameCube. I don't think I have the GameCube anymore. Uh, Kirby game here. I'm a big fan of Kirby, so I definitely had to pick that one up. Right. Um, Let's go for uh, $15 for all these games. And then the controller. Uh, $10. And then for the Game Boy? I'll say 15. So that's like 40 you're saying? 30, yeah, 40. I was thinking more like 20, 25. Would you do that? How about 30? How about 25? I mean, you know, like. <laughs> All right, 25 is. Okay, cool. I don't know, Andy, do we have any video games? I, I bought a wafer from Goodwill, but I don't have that Perfect. adapter. Okay, so okay. I'd be interested in that. So I'm glad we talked. But... Do ten? No, no, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it for ten, fifteen. Um, or do you want to do like twenty for all three? Is that too much? Oh, I thought you were just throwing that in. I mean, I'd do fifteen if you throw Mario in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Day later, fifty bucks cheaper. Place your bids now! Right away, they pull out this box, and on top I see a sealed, sealed GameCube controller. Not even just the uh, a GameCube controller, it's the Wave Bird. We got a bunch of loose discs too. We got Mario Sports Mix for the Wii, Simpsons Hit and Run, Kirby's Air Ride, Wind Waker, Double Dash bonus discs. They wanted to keep the uh, Mario Kart, and Paper Mario as well as all this Game Boy stuff. We've got uh, games here, Namco Museum, we got a blue Game Boy, we 
We got a the better super backlight model, light blue, with minish cap. We got a uh, charger, Madden 06, Mario Power Tour, tennis, and another one. What did I pay for this? This was like, um, it was like 20 or 25, I think I paid for all this stuff. With that alone, come on. $40? Normally I avoid going to old dresses, but this sale I felt was a, lot, uh, a lost sale because several years ago I went to this house, they had like a, a portable GameCube screen and uh, uh, some GameCube games, a complete in box GBA, but the mother was unsure if her son wanted to sell it. Nonetheless, I go back to this dress thinking maybe I can get some of that stuff this time. Actually, the son was there this time, so I was able to do some dealings with him. So we got a blue GBA SP with a Mario Advance 2 in there. A loose WaveBird receiver and transmitter. Those are... I mean, oh man, those are hard to find. Uh, we got a complete in box Wind Waker, a loose disc for The Incredibles, and this Mewtwo card. I don't know what this is, but I picked it up. It was in the bin. The guy just said, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Manual, Ribbit King Manual, and Pikmin 2 Manual. The games weren't there. If you saw some stuff in that clip that I didn't pick up, that I should have, it's because he wanted to keep it. So, nonetheless, I think I made out pretty well. Do you have, like, um, like any video game stuff, maybe? What kind of video game stuff? Um, well, I pretty much play so, anything now. you want for any of the Wii games? Two bucks piece. Is that? <laughs> How about uh, five for everything in the gold? Cool. So all this stuff was five bucks. Batman Brave and the Bold. I didn't watch the TV show, but I played a little bit of this game. It is whew, really good, actually. Really, really good. And you can co-op on the same screen. Monster trucks weren't a thing for me when I was a kid. I remember Bigfoot and... Uh, my brother had this Bigfoot RC car, and I remember seeing the commercials like, Drugzilla! And, you know, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. But I never got into it. But for some reason, nowadays, when I pick, when I see a, a monster truck game, I'm just like, hell yeah, explosions, big cars crushing. It's like, I mean, that's what the whole Burnout series is about, right? Brand new listing, $30. 10 days on this puppy, and whoa, we got no beds, just as usual, but who knows, will this end in disappointment and failure? Only you, the bitter, will decide. Come on that. What's that? For the PlayStation 2 games. What about them? Do you know how much you want for any Oh, two bucks a piece. Can you take a buck for this one? Just this one? Yeah. Cool. I think I might be able to give you the Game Boy alone without the Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. For That's fine. Because yeah. Because it doesn't seem like that. So five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Okay. I hope it's not going to be like this all year. Uh, 50 houses, maybe two of them had game stuff, and I think a third, I, I saw a Gran Turismo 2 or 3 on the PS2, uh, greatest hits, and that was after, you know, going back after an hour, um, going after, anyways, it was just a lot of nothing. So these were two different houses, um, I think these were all a dollar each. Rayman 2, I mean, it has its fans, I, I just, I played this on Dreamcast, like, I couldn't get into it, it just, it was not Mario 64 for me. Donald Duck going Quackers, another uh, Dreamcast port, Kessin 2, I picked this up, I didn't know if it was worth anything, and we got Aliens vs. Predator Extinction, this is a, an RTS game, so, I haven't played one of those in a while, and it has a pretty, some, as aliens and predators. I mean, come on, that might be, might be good. Here's the sad part. So my, I don't know if I'll be getting my deals at the warehouse thrift anymore, just because one of the guys moved into the back area and there's this new guy in front and he's just been looking up stuff online and just giving me the hard sell all the, all the time. So I had to do a bit of strategy. The new guy's not there on the weekend. Sometimes the old guy comes out in the front on the weekend. So it depends on what day I go and, and who 
who I'm able to get at the register because they kind of juggle different roles at this place. I found this Game Boy Pocket. There was a Pokemon Blue in there. It's not anymore because they wanted to keep it. Um, and, and that's kind of how things are changing. So I don't know if I'll be able to get my dollar Nintendo games at this place anymore, but if I can fool them into thinking a, 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 a Game Boy is broken just by turning down the brightness, maybe I can get away with some deals still. Um, this cost me five bucks. Its screen is all right. I may have to do a little bit of soldering on that, that um, LCD strip, but obviously I'm going to need a new glass front. So well, there you go. Um, That's about a month worth of stuff, and I used to get this stuff in a day at garage sales. So um, yeah, nonetheless, it's out there. Now go get it. I didn't even mention this free Wii manual. Wii wheel manual. Wii wheel? Wii wheel. That's a Wii wheel. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Wii wheel. Wii wheel. Wii wheel.